Hello everybody, it's Tracy. How are you? Um, if you're new to this channel, just welcome. And uh, I am doing my May gratitude. And May has been quite full <laughs> of lo lots and lots of different things. Um, first of all, I just want to say, because it's a month since my fur bait, my fur baby, sorry, <laughs> I can't get my words out. Um, my fur baby passed away, so four weeks. Um, yeah, and I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that reached out and left beautiful comments. Um, I really appreciate that. It's um, super grateful for you to send your loving thoughts our way to our family, um, to my family. And yeah, that was just really, really sweet. Um, so this is going to be a long one because I realise there are lots of things to to say <laughs> because that's how it goes. So if you want to get yourself um, a cup of tea or something, I've got my English breakfast at the minute. I've got the incense on. And um, yeah, so I bought this one a couple of weeks ago. Um, and uh, yeah, it's burning away very, very nicely. And there's been lots of decks that have come in this month. Um, and I've also released a lot of decks. So in this journal uh, that I mentioned at the beginning when I first started my channel um, I showed like the cover in the uh, 31 days of is it 31 days of tarot Ethanese challenge um, and I had started this and I've actually finished it uh, so what happened in May was it's been really interesting the decks that I thought that I would keep uh, the Medicine Woman Tarot I have since sold. Um, I, I was looking for that nostalgia that I had when I first had that deck. That was that was my first tarot deck that I bought. Um, and I realised that um, I just I just don't connect with it anymore. It doesn't have that same feeling to me as it was when I was in my 20s. Um, and yeah, so I've moved that one on. I also sold the Gods and Titans Oracle. Uh, it was just too heavy for me. There was too many uh, incantations and rituals to do. And I, you know, I mean, it's I realise it's one of those decks that you use on those special occasions where you will be doing, you know, all those kinds of special um rituals but for me it really wasn't gelling and I thought you know if it's not meant to be with me then it's not so just move it on uh yeah so I have in my in this journal I have written down my tarot collection so um so yeah I got rid of quite a few I've actually got some on my in eBay I think I've got like six or seven decks for sale at the minute. Um, and if you're interested, you know, let me know in the comments below. If not, you know, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so I've been doing a real good clean out and I actually just sold the uh, Wild Unknown Animal Spirit. I mean, it's a gorgeous deck, but it was the same kind of, well, not the same kind of thing, but it was something that I was only reaching for on the occasion and I don't know I just couldn't see something that is so beautiful just to sit there <laughs> do you know what I mean um so it's going to its lovely home next week it's new home so I'm glad about that and so the decks that I received this month was in a trade from the beautiful Sammy Menzo we did a trade. I had the herbal tarot that she wanted, and then um, I got the hermetic tarot. Now, I'm very new to the esoteric workings of tarot and golden dawn and 
and everything like that. So I am very, very new to this system. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty full on. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It is pretty full on. And so I will decide whether I want to gel with it. I, th I really like the images, but the images sort of feel like they've just sort of been melded together. And I was watching Kelly Bear's video this morning of her deck mods, and she's mentioned the same kind of vibe where, you know, to do it, to do with the Golden Dawn and how all these things, and, and I, I agree with her that all these things are sort of being mashed together. Um, and it's, yeah, I don't, I don't know how I sort of feel about that. Um, she was talking in relation to the Alchemical Tarot, uh, by Robert N. Place, which is on my list. And it, because the artwork is stunning, but in saying that, when you look at it, you know, can you bond with it? Can you gel with it? Is it sending you really good messages? So anyway, we shall see, we shall see on that one. Um, the second one that I received during May was I bought it off eBay and it was it's the ancient Italian tarot um, This is a low scarabeo I'm in love with this deck. It's a Marseille. Is it Marseille? I still don't know. <laughs> it's a Marseille style deck, you know pip style deck uh, It's gorgeous I love, love, love the artwork. I mean, that's the kind of thing that you're looking at. It's just gorgeous. I, I'm just in love with it. Uh, yeah. And then, as you all saw my unboxing, my first unboxing and impressions of the Deviant Moon. So I've only got this deck this week so today is saturday the 2nd of june and i've been playing with it since um tuesday i'm in love with it <laughs> i've been journaling with it i've been doing readings with it and these two popped up today how gorgeous is that genie it just says it all like the nine of cups he's just so adorable and this guy's expression on his face is just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and this is one of my favorite cards at the minute. Is This is another one that came up. This is the six, uh, sorry, seven of cups. Um, and I love what it says in the little white book. Um, Patrick Valenza says it talks about, you know, because the guy is trying to actually paint the cups. But in actual fact, this is what's coming from his imagination. You know, you don't, there is so much more to, to what is physically in front of you. You know, it's that intangible, that's that something that you just have to sit with for a minute, you know, to allow it to come through. And, and that's what I think the Seven of Cups is like. And so we're going to go into um, the card of the month for May was the uh, six of Wands. I mean, sorry, Swords. Six of Swords. So there has been a lot of moving on since um, since my fur baby died. Uh, there's been lots of changes, and I think this is more of an emotional change, um, allowing allowing that space for for me to move like in a word that keeps on has been popping up for the last couple of weeks is free uh just, just to be free and i think you know that was really nice um that you know my fur baby got to be free which has allowed me to be free there is this freeing up of energy and, and space and I, I don't know how it's sort of going to come out I don't know what it's what it's going to look like um, I'm not too worried about it because you know there were things sort of going on when he did pass away um, that I, I was pretty adamant that I knew you know decisions were being made and I knew what was going on and um, 
I was pretty sure that I was going to go forward with that decision and it just didn't pan out. So, you know, you sort of think, okay, so now's not the time and we're just going to sit back and, you know, and um, we're in winter now here in Australia and just, just sit back for a bit. You don't need to be so ready to make all these decisions, you know. I mean... It was almost like, do I need to put all that pressure on myself? You know, it was such a big impact to have the loss of our gorgeous, gorgeous family member leave us when he did. Um, and, yeah, and yes, it was hard to be here, you know, having all of those memories and, you know, the places where he used to sit and, and, you know going on long walks and so yeah it was um I can't even remember where I was going with that but anyway what um yeah so the card of the month was the six of swords so I'm sort of glad that I feel like I am on the other side because the card for June is the six of wands So it feels like this really nice progression. So we've gone from the Six of Swords to the Six of Wands. It feels like a really nice progression there. So I'll be really interesting to see how this energy sort of manifests. And I just want to show you the Six of Wands in the Hermetic Tarot. These are quite busy cards, even though they're black and white. Um, but in some instances they are, that's the back, in some instances they are drawing me in. And I, I feel like I need to devote some time to that deck. It's a deck that deserves to have some time spent. So whether that happens in the month of June, I'm not too sure. This is the ancient Italian tarot, so this is the Six of Wands. So it's very lush, very regal looking. And the Deviant Moon, oh wow, I'm so surprised by this deck, so surprised, this is the Six of Wands. And I love these little things on the ends of their fingers, it's just the detail, I, I really, really appreciate it, I love the detail that um, Patrick Valenza has done, and I made a comment to... Um, Oh, the Ragged Poet, and um, she watched my unboxing video of the Deviant Moon, and yeah, it was just, it's been really, really cool how people have, um, you know, sort of given information, and because there were these little cards that come with a deck, and I'm going, I don't know what this is, can you please tell me what this is, you know, I mean, if you've seen my video, you would have known. And this lovely one here. Um, you know, people have jotted down what they are. And I realise I am going down this rabbit hole now where I... And Kelly Bear mentioned this um, comment when I made a comment on one of her videos. Um, that this is this world that this guy has created for himself. So, you know, he's got oracles and, you know, and I'm just going... And the book, the book is on my list I cannot I cannot wait to get my hands on that on that book okay moving on now the next one is um, a bit of a new one so since I said that I've finished this journal now and I really like the size so this is an A5 size but um, I haven't really sort of bought a new journal but I had these like A4 kind of things floating around like though I bought them from Kmart like for a pack of three or four for like six or seven dollars or something anyway so I found this <laughs> this lovely youtuber she does bullet journaling her name is seaweed kisses and all the things are you know if you're interested I'll leave the links for below but I really liked um how she did this morning gratitude and you know she'll just be journaling what she likes you know what she likes what she's grateful for in in the morning and I've taken on this practice so I've been doing it only for the last couple of weeks so yeah for the last two weeks and I've been really really enjoying it so 
Um, and I've even done a couple of evening gratitudes, but it's mainly the morning, you know, and I'll sit there with my cup of tea and it'll just be the most simplest things that I'm, you know, that I'm grateful for. And oh, it's just been a wonderful new ritual to sort of bring into my practice. And books, books, I got this from the library um, a couple of weeks ago. I'm in love with portraits and I don't know if you've seen any of my artwork, um, but I love drawing portraits. I mean, this is high caliber, <laughs> high caliber kind of stuff, but it's really interesting really cool cool book uh if you're into and these are self portraits by the way um i just find it incredible incredible and yeah uh the another one that i got was this one so this is a um what's it called Yeah, so it's um, it's just like a graphic novel. Uh, it's really interesting how how um, you're reading it from right to left. But I I love the artwork and it's just oh, I love it. Uh, yeah, so that's been a couple of books that I've been enjoying from the library and I just got to the library today and this is, I saw this <laughs> on display and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get that one. Um, and I just love these little cats. And they're called Maniki Nico, I'm probably... Absolutely butchering that one, but um, yeah, you know, the little waving cats. And I got, no, not that one, um, this gorgeous book. So it's like, it's so exciting just to delve into. I know it's, it, it, my video says my gratitudes, but <laughs> anyway. Um, and I got the first one in that series. And this book, which looked really, really good. So I can't wait to dive into that. Now, I um, won a beautiful prize from uh, Katie Flowers here on YouTube. And she did a survey and um, I won. Like she was um, giving away a reading by her and a deck. And I received it yesterday. It's so excited. Um, it is beautiful and came in this. So this is the reading part. I'm not going to share the reading because it's, you know, it's personal. Um, but just the, just the detail and the thoughts that went into it, I just thought was really, really nice. It's a beautiful reading. Uh, yeah, I, I really, really appreciate it. So if you are wanting to have a reading done by her i really highly recommend it anyway so this is sort of an impromptu unboxing because this is the deck that i won look at it it's just oh brown paper and this little twiny stuff oh i love it i love it so thank you katie flowers oh i love getting things in the mail it is just so cool so cool. Okay. Beautiful. And this is the deck. So I have a Cheryl and Darcy book, The Flowers. What's it called? Hang on a minute, I'll just go and get it. Okay. So I got this Flowerpedia that um, Cheryl and Darcy released last year. And it just has, and you can see that I've just gone basically crazy with all the meanings of flowers. Um, but it's just jam-packed full of names, meanings, um, 
just everything, everything you could think of. Um, what, you know, it says, you know, like little things like I will comfort you. And what that means is you'll have geranium and rose together. So if you're, if you're presenting somebody with geranium and rose, that's, that's what it means. Um, orange blossom is I will love you forever. Uh, carnation, pink carnations, pussy toes. I don't know what they are. I will never forget you. It's so romantic. So yes, so I'm really glad to get one of her decks. So I might do a first impressions on this one at a later date. And I think that that will do it for the May gratitude. I know there's so many things else that I was going to say. Um, oh, on the Netflix scene, um, I've been loving uh, lots of Korean TV and my son has been watching this, <laughs> this really weird, it's called Busted and um, it's like this sort of like the Sherlock detective kind of game show. It's really quite funny and we've been watching it a few times. But my most favourite, favourite one that I've been watching is, I keep on not saying this right, but anyway, Hiori's Bed and Breakfast. And it's her and her husband, and they've opened up their home as a bed and breakfast. Anyway, she used to be an idol. So if you don't know anything about Korean pop music, like K-pop, um, back in the day, um, well, she's not that old. She's only like in her 30s, but she's absolutely gorgeous. Um, she was an idol. So you have like pop stars, you know, like your average pop stars, and then you have like idol status. And... Yeah, so she um, opens her home. So everybody knows who she is when they go to stay there. And I'm up to season two. Um, and I just love it. I just love, just love everything about it. And it's winter time over there and it's snowing and it's just oh, absolutely in love with the culture. Like they live in Jeju Island. Um, in South Korea and uh, another one that I've been loving is uh, Terrace House so it's Japanese um, and it's like a dating kind of thing sort of like a big brother kind of program um, and this season they are another winter theme as well um, I can't remember where it actually was but I, I have a massive <laughs> crush on the snowboarder, Tucker. Tucker, I think his name is. Um, and he's, I think he's the oldest person in the, in the house. Um, and there's two seasons in that series, um, which is on Netflix. Um, and was that it? I'm pretty sure that's, that was it, yeah. And still watching the originals. So that's what I'm grateful for, for the month of May. Uh, and obviously it was my birthday month as well. My son's birthday, um, and it was, it's been a very, I'd say, yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful for the month of May. I, I think we needed a little bit of respite from April. April was pretty full on towards the end there. It was pretty brutal. Um, you know, there's a couple of other things that were going on as well as, you know, my fur baby passing away. But, um, you know, life, life goes on. So I want to thank you for being here and hanging out and there'll be more videos to come. Um, if you want to leave your lovely comments. That would be great and I will see you next time. Bye.